Welcome to CPAPHelpdesk.com. This video is about bruising on the face from your CPAP mask. It doesn't matter if it's a full face mask like this where uh, something like this might bruise you right here, okay? Nasal pillows, just like this. They could bruise you around the tip of your nose, inside your nostril, right above the upper lip, okay? A nasal mask like this. It doesn't matter what brand. Uh, it, you, it's somewhere around your face you're going to get bruised. Now, here's the difficult part for most people, including medical personnel. Is it bruising? Is it an allergic response? Or is it just time? Your body just needs time to toughen, toughen up. Your skin needs time to toughen up because, you know, when you, when you have a mask here leaning on it, which is when you're not used to it, it just, it's unusual. It just needs time to toughen up, right? All right. So it, at any rate, always see your doctor first. All right, that I have to say that. Now, we create another video about allergic response to the material of CPAP mask, uh, what you can do. So look for that too. Now, the, the common response for this is because the size, for example, of, of a mask. Now, I'm, I'm just showing you a full face mask that applies to everything. Could be the wrong size. If you have the wrong size, what happens is the mask Will, let me show you this. We'll start sliding up and down. And what this does is it starts to scrape this area and you start to bruise. Now, so the way to combat that is measure. They're templates. You can print out templates on, on from the manufacturers' websites or, or, you know, the respiratory therapist from the home medical equipment company or the sleep tax. They should measure you, okay? So with the right size cushion, that should help solve this problem, all right? So now, the other reason why is your face is oily and dirty. Everybody have, has an oil buildup and dirt buildup on their face by the end of the day. So please, wash your face before you use it because if you leave the oil there, the mask is gonna start sliding all over the place and start scraping also. So that, that is the thing uh, that you should be aware of. The other reason is, if you don't, as for bruising I'm talking about, is this. If your mask is dirty and you don't wash it per the manufacturer's recommendation, right? One, believe it or not, you can get a skin infection that resembles bruising. Be up to date. The majority of the uh, manufacturers do tell you to wash this every day. Now, to help overcome this, there are CPAP wipes, okay? Like this. Just like maybe for one, for one day you couldn't get to or you're traveling, you couldn't wash your CPAP mask. Use one of these wipes. And this just clean, thoroughly clean the inside all over the place for it. Okay? This will help. This will definitely help. Now, the other part that I want to talk to you about is uh, if you already have some kind of a bruising here, right? Use an ointment. You can check with the doctor on this. You don't have to make an appointment. I mean, I'm sorry, make an appointment. Check with the doctor um, or the nurses. That they can even recommend the type of ointment you can help uh, heal that area that's bruising. Right? Uh, the other thing that I would strongly suggest is, for example, if you're using this mask and you happen to get bruising from here, then switch to another mask, another brand of mask. Or, for instance... I was showing you this. This is a this is a comfort gel full face mask. All right. Give yourself a break. Try a totally different type. Like this. This is called the hybrid. Let me move this guy back. All right. This covers your mouth and nose. So you see, if you're bruising at here, so every few days, try one of these. Or for example, uh, if you're using. A gel mask, a, a nasal mask like this that just covers your nose. Try, try a different brand of, of nasal mask or go for nasal pillows. Do you see my point? Give your face a break where it normally things touch. Try not to put a mask where it touches that area. So that it gives it time to heal. Now, one of the, 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 the things that you can, you must do also is this. Let me move this away. Is these cushions need to be replaced now? If you, I hopefully, if you if you go on the site, we show you recommendations of masks where we recommend certain masks that 
that way you can just buy replacement cushions. Okay. After a certain few months, just change the cushion. Look at that. I just pulled it out. Get a brand new one and put it. Voila. That's it. Okay. You don't have to spend a ton of money buying a headgear and all this. Now, speaking of headgear, I want to show you an example of this happened to me. This is a mask that was given to me by the manufacturer. Okay, it's a it's a gel mask by a full face gel mask um, made by Devilbus. It is very good mask. The problem is this headgear was too small for me, and it was cutting. I, I was just feeling pressure points. I knew I was going to get bruising, so all I did was I took a headgear from a Mirage Quattro full face mask and put it onto this. This clip, you see this blue clip? This belongs to this mask. I just undid this. So, here you go. This is the mask I stole the headgear from and I put it here. Right? So, do you, see, get my, do you get my point? Change the headgear size or use a different brand size if you have to. Uh, in, if you want to use, not most manufacturers, for example, sorry, Respironics, this guys, they make a one size fits most headgear. Now, if your headgear is small, and it, it will it'll cause the cushion, regardless of which uh, headgear manufacturer you use, it will cause bruising because the mass is so tight into you, right? Then try buying a different, uh, like for example, what did I do with it? Here we go. This is ResMed. ResMed sells headgear that comes in medium, small, and large. You know, it'll cost you a little bit of extra money, but try it. It's something worth doing. Now, there is one more other thing that I want to talk to you about. Actually, this there should be one more other thing here. Is this. If you're bruising, there is a padding. Can you see this? It's, it's transparent that you put it here. Okay. And then you can put your mask right on top of it. Let me zoom in on it. Oh, wrong way. This headgear is in the way. Can you see that? This helps seal off leaks and also it eliminates the issue of it bruising right here. Now, I want to show you one more thing. I should have got this prepared here. Let me zoom back. Oops, wrong way. Ramses, very good product. There's a few. There's another. There's another brand also out there that's very good. These are CPAP mask liners. So what you do, you have to find the right lining for this mask. Uh, for that's appropriate for whatever mask you're using could be a, a nasal mask the one that covers your nose or a full face mask this goes over here and then goes over here so this becomes a it helps seal off leaks and also it it really does reduce incidence of bruising all right so linus cpap mask linus these are very good they really work they absolutely work now when it comes to nasal pillows I do want to mention this. When it comes to nasal pillows, the majority of bruising that that uh, most of us uh, here in the field have noticed is when somebody can can you see this? This is the Swift LT. This pillow is put upside down. Most of people get bruising when they take their nasal pillows out, regardless of what brand it is for for cleaning purposes, right? And they put it the wrong way. And if you put it the wrong way, this is going to create bruising in the nostril or the tip of the nose. Or, or anywhere in that region. Okay? So remember, please put this back the right way. Okay? So follow the instructions or get instructed by the respiratory therapist from the home care company. Alright, with that, uh, let me sign out. Sweet dreams.